Shields deserves a round of applause. Doctors say it's a wonder she's alive. I feel good. I feel, I feel. How's that? Good enough, considering the 31-year-old skydiver dropped more than 10,000 feet at 90 miles an hour when her parachute failed and wrapped around her. When it didn't cut away and it was still there and I looked up and I, nothing had changed and I kind of looked down and saw the ground about ready to meet me and I went, well, <laughs> I said, I'm going to die. Don Schwab was jumping above Jill uh, and saw her stuff. struggle but could do nothing. Uh, I was not in a position to help during the free fall because she was active trying to fix it herself. You can't help somebody in that situation and then when you see him hit the ground, it's like no any other situation. You know, it's just a friend you assume died at that point. Doug Sayre saw her land and heard yeah. her speak. She said, get me up out of this hole. What did she say? She, she said, get me up. She wanted to be moved. Jill's sister also skydives, but wasn't with them. She did see the commotion. I was very close to it, and I saw the helicopter and uh, fly by, and I knew that there was something going on probably at the drop zone, and my first thoughts were Jill. Jill had been skydiving for a year. It was her 34th jump, and she says she was at fault. And... I started to bobble a little, and I hesitated. I made a mistake, and I hesitated before I let go of my pilot chute. Jill and landed in a swamp sure, that cushioned her fall. Happened, but, uh, she fractured her spine in several so places, but her spinal cord was spared. The issue with this woman, and this is what's so miraculous, is she actually injures three levels. In other words, this, this, and this. This would be the distance, although higher. And the spinal cord, which is what really counts, was not injured. Most patients who fall from heights like this die either of internal injuries, uh, multiple fractures, or uh, an overwhelming head injury. And she really had none of these. I am I'm the luckiest person you've ever seen. <laughs> this lucky person wants to skydive again, um, even though doctors say she'd risk further injury. But Jill enjoys the sport because and it I is risky. I was skydiving, I have been, and I will be, because it's fun. And that's what I want to do. And how does this daring young skydiver feel about facing the media? It's not that bad. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Jill says she isn't necessarily a religious person, but feels she survived because there's still something left for her to do. And if it's to go back up there and jump again, Jill says she won't make the same mistake. In Cleveland, Marianne Herman reporting for the 10 o'clock news.